हेलो गाइस ये वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 फ्रॉम बिल्डअप एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर न्यूटन्स लॉज ऑफ मोशन फ्रॉम द बुक पाथफाइंडर सो या लेट्स स्टार्ट अ लाइट एंड एक्सटेंसिबल कॉर्ड इज रैप्ड अराउंड अ फ्रिक्शनलेस सिलेंडर ऑफ रेडियस आर फिक्स्ड वर्टिकली ऑन अ फ्लोर दैट इज लुब्रिकेटेड विद ऑयल अ बीड ऑफ मास एम इज टाइड एट वन एंड ऑफ द कॉर्ड एंड एट द अदर एंड द अदर एंड पी इज फ्री एज शोन बाय द टॉप व्यू ऑफ द सिचुएशन फोर्स ऑफ विस्कस ड्रैग ऑन द बीड ड्यू टू द लेयर ऑफ द लुब्रिकेटिंग ऑयल इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द स्पीड ऑफ द बीड एंड द प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी कॉन्स्टेंट इज के इफ द फ्री एंड ऑफ द कॉर्ड इज पुल्ड विद द कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड यू अलॉन्ग द सिलेंडर द बीड इवेंचुअली अक्वायर्स अ स्टडी मोशन ऑन अ सर्कुलर पाथ फाइंड एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द स्पीड ऑफ द बीड एंड द रेडियस ऑफ इट्स सर्कुलर पाथ इन इट्स स्टडी मोशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स लुक एट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज हैपनिंग यर so here the the situation is something like this as we start pulling from p uh, let's say this mass acquires a, a speed u along the tangent but here there is no force which is able to provide it the centripetal force required for it to stay in this orbit at a radius r so it will kind of move slightly away and try to increase its radius so the centripetal force required would decrease and uh, as it starts to uh, increase its radius the tension force starts co- contributing uh, to some extent to its centripetal force and uh, as it increases uh, it it will overshoot it, its equilibrium position and then move forward and then it will try to come back again t- to its uh, equilibrium position and eventually uh, as the due to viscous forces it will start losing energy and eventually it it will s- settle in some orbit so let's as let's look at the final situation the final situation will be something like this let's assume that uh, the tension force in this string at at the in the stable orbit is t and it makes an a- angle of theta with the line joining the center and the bead and let's assume that the velocity of the particle in this orbit is v so the forces on it will be kv in the o- direction opposite to its velocity and will be tangential to the orbit and the tension t along the string so the equations we get here first of all by constraint relation that the velocity of the bead along the string should be equal to equals to u so u will be equals to v sin of theta this is the first equation now for the equation for the centripetal force it can be given as mv square over now here the radius will be let's say l then l sin theta will be equals to r so l here will be r over sin theta mv square by r sin theta will be equals to t cos theta and as uh, as it is not uh, slowing down or speeding up in this orbit so along the tangent there should be no forces on this so t sin theta should be equals to kv so these are the three equations and we need to solve for v and theta so what we get from second and third equation is dividing them we get tan of theta equals to kv over mv square sin theta over r and here v cancels so from here we got uh, a relation between v and theta and another relation is u equals to v sin theta so substituting uh, v equals to u by sin theta above what we get is tan of theta is equals to kr over mu so from here the velocity v will be equals to kr by m multiplied by 1 by tan theta which is mu by kr by sin theta now uh, this will be equals to v equals to u by sin theta and sin theta from here is root of 1 plus m square u square over k square r square so this is the final answer for the speed and for the radius we uh, we have to find the value of l which is r over sin theta so the value of l is equals to r root of 1 plus m square u square by k square r square so yeah this is the final answer thank you